Hello everyone, this is John coming to you with another Section 8 is Great Landlord Tip. And first of all, before we get started, I want to thank everyone for supporting Section 8. We're doing great out there. A lot of people are getting information. This is this video is going to be like a true Section 8 story. If you ever watched Dave Chappelle um, or something like that, but these are just stories that happen. So guess what happened to me yesterday? Um, one of my tenants are moving out, and sometimes you're going to have tenants that move out. And this is um, a kind of a clean tenant. She's moving out. She's Section 8 voucher, but she has um, she her kids are growing older. So she went from a three bedroom, and now she has to get a two bedroom. But you know, I encourage everyone to have only a three bedroom voucher. So she has a three bedroom voucher, and she wants to go back to a two. So guess what she did ask me because her kids are 18. That's why in my book, I always tell you to make sure that you want to give them a great Section 8 tenant as a young tenant who has young children. So right now she's been with me about four or five years. She's not going anywhere. But now she has to move. But guess what the first thing she asked me to do? She said, John, I know we got a three bedroom, but Section 8 has contacted me and said they're going to lower, they're going to downgrade my bedrooms to a two bedroom. And I said, mm, I can't do that because they're going to give me two bedroom money. She also offered me to pay me under the table. And you know, I, that's one thing I tell you that I don't do is, is take any money under the table from any Section 8 tenant. It's just a recipe for, for disaster, fraud, and get yourself in trouble. So anyway, she, she's moving. So I'm glad because this is a nice move. Now I can upgrade my property. Um, I can um, get higher amount for the next tenant on Section 8. So this is a nice house. It's a three bedroom house. It's really nice and everything else. So it's no problem with brick. I'm going to get it rented out. So now she's over there. She's trying to find another place. So it's another landlord that's calling. She used me as a reference and another landlord called me uh, from a city down south from me. I mean, not too far, about, about 20 minutes away from me. And he asked me how she's doing and everything else. And this is his first time being the Section 8 landlord and he doesn't want to discriminate. But she doesn't, the thing about it is that he said he ran her credit and everything else and he's thinking about allowing her to have a Section 8 problem. But guess what she did already with him? That's why you have to be careful with Section 8 tenants. She's already, she told him that she's going to have a three bedroom voucher. The first thing I teach you in my book is to verify the voucher. This book teaches you how to verify the voucher. You want to see the voucher. You want to see what it has on there. So the landlord is called and calling me just trying to see what kind of tenant she was. I said, well, did you check her voucher? Uh, you, you need to know what's going on because this is our situation. She's a good tenant. She's a clean tenant. But if you're looking for Section 8, you know, but the main thing that, you, you know, and also what she's going to try to do is that she can only have her and her one of her kids on there who's about to be 18 as well next year. So he might think that he can go take some money under the table or something like that. And I think that she might move her boyfriend in there. So it's going to be a whole lot of different things going on. So I, I tried to tell him as much as I could without going to anything like that. But you need to be aware out there. They are conniving Section 8 tenants or cutting edge or real. They understand that as soon as you say, okay, that Section 8 will only give you 800 but I can pay you 300 under the table, that Section 8 tenant will do that at first for about a month, maybe a month and a half. But they won't do it for a while because you know why? They're going to ask for a receipt from you and everything else, and guess what's going to happen when you ask them for your money that you agree to under the table? You're going to get yourself in trouble. You're going to go ahead, they're going to stop paying, and then all of a sudden you're, um, um, you're the enemy. When I was talking to this landlord, he said, yeah, she seems real nice. She was real nice, real positive and everything. Else. Guess what? All Section 8 tenants start out like that. They start out as the nicest thing, like they're never going to give you a problem. You're never going to have a problem with them. And guess what? One or two months in, then it's all the problems. They want to start living like you. They want to have AC because they think that you have AC in your house with your family. Of course, I'm going to have a air conditioning with my family because I'm the owner and that's what I do, I'm an investor. Yours is going to be straight, you can put a window air conditioner in there. But this is how you have to deal with Section 8 tenants. Um, you have to worry about how conniving they are or how sneaky they are. Once again, you know that we have these hats on my website. I want to thank for everybody for coming in. We have these Section 8 great t-shirts. I want to make sure that you stop in and make sure you get it. 
Um, I also want to make sure that you su keep on supporting the movement so I can keep on putting out these videos. Go ahead and buy a book. Give a gift to someone else. Go to my website and get a shirt. People who already have the book. Keep on supporting. I'm trying to keep on giving you information. And also, we also are going to start talking about other things So what else I do. Because right now, I've been one of my offices. But you know, Section 8 is not the only thing I do. Section 8 was the vehicle for me to open up more businesses, to create more wealth, become more financially free. I want you to be financially free. I want you to click the link below so I can tell you where you need to do, where you need to be going. Because a lot of you guys are starting out this 2018 and you're not coached up. You don't know exactly where you need to go. You don't know exactly what has to be done to get wealth in 2018. Our time is ticking. I want all of you guys out there to support. Go to section8isgreat.com, get the book, get some merchandise, and go ahead and hit that link right there. Make sure you subscribe and share and hit that link so I can give you a call and try to assess where you are and get you where you need to get. I guarantee you if you call me that you will get where you need to be. You'll see a dramatic improvement. I will get you. I'll help you take action. You will get going and you will start getting this wealth. Take it from me who I'm actually in the game right now. It's just not just about Section 8. It's about building a portfolio, taking care of your family, and doing everything we can to get successful and try to own as much as we can while we can. Talk to you later out there. Have a good day.